All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops is me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just give me out. Working down here in Booking because every day it's a little bit different. So it's not stagnant. You're not doing the same thing day after day. And, and every day is different. There's different people coming in, different situations. You have the people that come in high and upset and they'll run their mouth. You know, they just want to push your buttons, see if they can't get a rise out of you. And um, that time, that's when you just have to take a deep breath and, and uh, not let them get to you. Is it your wedding night? So you're out drinking tonight? Ma'am, is it your wedding night? Did you get married today? I don't have a statement to make. You don't have a statement? Until I have a turn to me. OK. Keep your feet spread. Are you filling me up? I'm patting I'm you down. a little sexually harassed. Ma'am? Just a little. I'm just patting you down. Just All a right? Go ahead and walk third row all the way across to see the nurse. Because she came in for a DUI liquor. She had driven up in a uh, blue pickup truck. The supervisor of parking called us over because she was being verbally abusive to the uh, toll collector. And um, prior to our arrival, she had tried to switch. Um, seats with the passenger. She actually did switch seats with the passenger and um, did a field sobriety test on her. She failed. Thank you. Okay. Do you have any medical problems we need to know about? Anxiety? You'll have to talk to my doctor about that. You don't know what you have? You'll have to talk to my doctor about that. Answers, questions. Do you take medication for anything? You'll have to talk to my doctor about that. Okay, she refuses. She's still pretty drunk. Don't f with me. Hey. I'm not that drunk. Don't try to with me. Yeah, man, I'm having a mood swing. You're very, very, no, I'm very like angry. Talking what have yeah, I said to you? Man, I asked you if you were, it was your wedding day or if you were at a Christmas party. I can't. You can't. I can't. Then she don't here. leave me. We're going to take her back to the side cell. You seem to be trembling, holding on to my arm. No, I'm not trembling. Oh, you are? No, I'm not. Um, it should be. Okay. Let's take back. her back. Um, we're going to take her to a side cell. Oh, you know what? You just want to hurt me? <laughs> you better do a lot more than that. Ma'am. Ma'am, we're not here to hurt you. Oh, obviously you're here to hurt me because you are twisting my arm. All right, stop right here. Spread what? your feet. Spread your feet out. What? Is it? What? Better be a girl. Is that a guy? Are you putting me in a cell with a guy? No, ma'am. They're, They're lovers. Females, ma all right, listen up, ma'am. You're going to put me in with some lovers? Spread what? your feet. I wouldn't do. Are you serious? Are you really going to be running your mouth like that before you go into the cell with them for a few hours, ma'am? Ma ma'am, you need to stop running your mouth. <laughs> Straight back, ma'am. Do not move till you hear the door shut. Otherwise, we're coming back in here. All right, I'll check. So she'll just sit in there and probably tell at least tomorrow morning. Then maybe if she can uh, control her attitude and her language, then we'll wrap it up and we'll put her through the rest of the booking process. We'll get him. Um, sir, face the wall. Oh, they found drugs. Inside pocket. They're lactose pills. <laughs> I'm allergic to lactose. Not angry tonight, sir. <laughs> no, you guys cracked me up. He's um, DUI with accident. So what's going on with him? It started out with another officer working another accident and heard a screech. Our suspect was driving a Super Duty truck, so really large. 
um, went head on with the other truck. I take him off to the side to do the field sobriety test. He failed that pretty miserably. And you can see where the windshield cracked outward and there's hair and blood in the windshield, which basically says he's not wearing a seatbelt. So he's actually really lucky he lived, but the guy on the other truck is who we're waiting to see the status on. He was transported to UMC Trauma. This guy's also got a prior DUI. What'd you hear? Somebody hit me. Okay. And, uh, I don't know. I didn't have my seatbelt on. So you said another vehicle hit you? What vehicle was that? Do you know what kind of vehicle it was? Like it was like a white pickup. Jumped over the curb and hit me. I, I tried to go left. I leaned right. I guess you're lucky to be alive. Thank you, Stephen. I love these guys. I like it. I like it. That I can understand. Have a seat in the blue chair. His whole story was that the other car jumped the median and slammed into his truck, but it's exactly what he had done. Whatever. Oh, so you have altered perception of the accident. Well, when you prove it in court, then you can run your mouth. Okay, we saw another another officer was out actually on another accident and saw the accident take place. Mm -hmm. Eyewitness, nice. Yeah, he is. He done hit me while you were traveling eastbound in westbound lane. <laughs> yeah, right. So he might have hit you. Yeah, I just pulled out of the parking structure and I'm in the westbound lane. Whatever. But he only had one beer. And the pills. Really yeah, good. check those pills out. They're lactose pills. I'm allergic to milk and cheese. All right, thank you for your cooperation, sir. Okay, stand up. <laughs> Sir, we're going this way. Walk straight this way. Here, I'll, I'll help you find Thanks. your way. <laughs> That's nice of you. Sweet lady. To the left, then to your immediate right. <laughs> and necklace. All right, sir, so you need to remain standing against the wall here till you get the door closed behind you. Okay. It's just sad. He came out with scratches on his face and the other person's in the hospital. The drunk person always comes out better than the sober person. constantly have to be on our toes. We don't know what kind of individuals walk through that door. We see people come through the door, they're happy, cheery, one minute, next minute they just snap. So tell them that they focus their aggressions on the police officers because they're the ones that arrested them. Uh, once we start patting them down, if they start turning on us, we'll place them in an isolation cell until they become cooperative and non-combative. Step back about a foot. You got anything sharp on you? <laughs> been in the hospital the last 24 hours? No, I didn't do it. Are you I diabetic? I got a learning disorder. Are you suicidal? No, well, sometimes. Are you suicidal now at this point? No, I want to die, because I didn't do anything. You want to die because you didn't do anything? My old lady is, is accusing me after I need slapping. To ask you these questions. I need, need your response. You need to listen to his questions. Okay. I'm going to take your cuffs off. I want you to put your hands flat on the counter. All right. I will do so. I didn't do anything. God, I didn't. Take your jacket off, pass anything. me your jacket. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Keep peeling down to one layer of clothing. I didn't do anything. Have a seat, sir. Okay, here, Terry, look at me. Here's for your keys. That's the whole idea. Exactly, and here's your identification. So go ahead and put an, sign it or put an X there, whatever you can do. Well, see, you're signing it just fine. I didn't do anything. That's what I've been trying to just sign your tell name. you and the officers. That has nothing she to do with slapped signing. me, though. Terry, she, look at that red Terry, bar. Terry, you need to focus. focus. She abused me. Grab that stuff there, right over here. Have a seat there. No. Oh, he's extremely agitated. He's probably intoxicated too. He's come here on assault for domestic. He struck his significant other on his wife or his girlfriend, but he's extremely agitated. He's just not going to listen to what we got to tell him. I don't know you. I didn't hit her. So leave me alone. 
Now, I know she, she was upset, but she didn't have to get me arrested. No, your wife is the most beautiful person in the world. Your wife, do right. you like her or not? Yeah, right. Do you like her or not? Right. Right. She'll keep her. Right, she is. She treat her like a queen. Yeah, I treat Which her like gold, gold and she still days. treats me like hey, let's hold it down. He'll probably stay with us the rest of the night. It's too late for him to bail. So he'll go to court tomorrow and they'll determine what's going to happen to him. Thank you. <laughs> we got an uncooperative individual coming in. He's supposed to be a spitter. So uh, see what kind of demeanor he's got and deal with him accordingly. Hi, 1234. Dealt with them before. He's spitting. He tried to kick our cage out as we were getting oh. here. Speeder on the driver's side. Back. Been spitting all over the place. Heads up. You gonna spit on us? No, no, I just spit him. No, I, no, I no. Why don't you slide out this way? Your feet are this way, man. Hey, all right. Man, dude, these fools. I'm coming, I'm coming. All right. They're gonna kill me stairs. Wait, no. Oh, that. Well, that, that's. Prove to me, you ain't gonna spit. We'll take that thing off. I'm not gonna, we're gonna spit. Look, he's hella fat. I want him to hit you. I ain't gonna find out. Yeah. Yeah, you just, you just, are you fast? Are you hush? You don't have anything sharp on you, do you? Hmm, that, nope. All right. Except you, you're have awfully you, sharp. Have you been hey, in the hospital? already searched me already. Oh, yes, I guess. Because we have to. That's right. Okay, your hand's gonna go on the counter. Hey, I'm never gonna make hey, listen up. Pay okay, hey, attention. Listen up. Your hands are going on the counter, right? Yes, there's some in reception. Don't you do this every day like a thousand times? Oh, that's white boys. Yeah, you're gonna be a thousand and one, right? As long as you're cool, everything's gonna be all right. Okay, then you're not gonna make it on the force, dude. You grab take the Saturn jacket off. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Take it off. But no, don't, you don't, take it off. Oh, you gotta let me take off my own. Yep. Well, I'm take. I'm not gonna take the jacket off. Hey, you need to leave that on. I'm not going to spit, dude. I was just hugging Louis. I'm not going to spit on you. Put it on until we tell you to take well, it Well, I'm not going to take the... Uh, uh, I would look ridiculous with a boot on and no jacket on. Here, take it off like that. This is too... Jack, you got to be careful. Here, I got it. I got it. I got it. It's small on me. I don't think I got a button. I never wear okay. it before. Hold on, hold on. If you would let me... I'm not Phillips. I'm not going to do nothing, dude. I'm not. Just relax. I'm, what, how am I going to relax and stand up at the same time? I'm not going to do nothing. I'm going to relax, dude. You sound like a rapist. Like, this is going to me on the way here. If you would let me, I'm gonna be real, beat my ass. I'm gonna be very listen, upset. Listen to me. What? I don't want to make this any harder than you do. Okay, I want to get you through this nice and simple. It's supposed to. So quit flipping around, moving your hands, and being a problem. All you I gotta didn't, do is listen. Listen. I didn't do keep nothing. your mouth shut. Well, I gotta breathe out my mouth because my nose is all congested. I got asthma. I've been outside. I've been outside all day in this cold. I'm like, this is. Ah! Oh, oh, I'm coming. Come on. That's how you gotta do it, bro. That's how like punching. What you guys do, Michael? I'm not out. Whoa, whoa. Hello. Hello. I dicked me again. I, I didn't kick okay. me again. I didn't, folks, I didn't mean you, dog. I didn't mean to. Okay, second man, front of the face. Oh, down. thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I hurt you. Yeah, let go. Oh, oh. Face down on the ground. Face up. Oh, it's You're going to get your boots off. Okay. Why one thing my boots is going to be cold? Why are you just searching me? You're not a drug in it. I can help you get these boots off. Right? So what you, I mean, you be in my ass and I'm Okay, whatever your name is, we're going to oh. leave. And if you get up, we're going to tase you. Okay. Under stomach, your hand underneath so your stomach. The door. Other one. <laughs> okay, keep your feet up so you don't get up closing the door. Damn, you guys are getting a job. I've got that nursery school. <laughs> Sit down. You get up, we're going to zap you. Okay, good call. Let me go, don't zap me. Don't zap me. Okay, but Sound like he's sucking helium. <laughs> he was arrested for, he beat up his mom earlier today in the afternoon, and he was still, he was trying to get back in his house today, so uh, one of the neighbors called, saw him lurking out there, so we went back there and arrested him. He probably won't get out of the isolation cells until sometime in the morning, and then uh, he'll probably go to court. I've worked for the Sheriff's Department for going on seven years now. I work at intake where we process prisoners. I work at various jobs down there. I, I do transport. I do the actual booking in of the prisoners where I pat them down and take their property from them, stick it in a bag, give it to the property personnel. 
for us. Right down the center. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, take a Take these handcuffs off. Stop right there, man. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Come on. What What's your name? My name's Ken. Yes, sir. That's my rights, bro. Hey, why don't you represent your right to remain silent? Let yeah, do that one. I am remaining. I bet you won't do that one, will you? Can I do you some bathroom? Sir, you have to be patted down before you get to go. Let's get it then. We're going at it. We're getting her done. Don't you worry about it. How many pair of pants you got on? Two. Two? Eh? Did two I pairs lie? of pants? Did I lie? I'm asking you, do you have two pairs of pants I on? Said, yeah, did I lie? You might need to quit drinking, man. You might need to quit thinking. Yeah, I already know the drill. Leave them out of your pockets. I already know the drill, man. Take your jacket off, first one. Come on, man. It's military, dog. I gotta take the leap, dude. Grab your boots. Put them in a special bag for me? Yeah, because you're a special K. Right over there, I have a seat in the blue benches. All right. Can I use the bathroom? Thank you, sir. Taking him back in the back to try to get him fingerprinted and photoed here in a little bit. What? We just want to get him through the process. That's why we try to keep him down here as long as we can. Sir, do you have any serious medical problems? Sure. Hey. Thanks. All right. Hold on. Yes. You do? What's your name? Bob. Bobby? Is your name Bobby? Yes. What's your serious medical problem? Any beer, wine, or alcohol today? Yes. How much, sir? Too much. How much is too much to you? Too much to me is five. How much is too much to you? Uh, Ten. Fifteen. Fifteen beers? Twenty. Twenty beers. All right. Do you use street drugs? Yes. Well, what do you use? Heroin and um, uh, Heroin? Have you swallowed any heroin in the last 24 hours? Yes. You have swallowed drugs? Yes. How much have you swallowed? Um, we have a possible ingestion of heroin. I didn't swallow any drugs, not on street drugs. How many? Ten or fifteen Ten or fifteen cc's of what? Heroin? Or, uh, SL5. You swallowed the drug? Yes. Why did you swallow it? Because I had no choice. You had no choice? Well, what do you mean by that? I had no choice. Let's just put him over here. Walk with us, man. The fire department was on scene. They took the pile. They said everything is good. Well, sure they would. Yeah. Lean over this, right here. Lean over this. There you go. How you feeling? Well, stay there. Don't get yeah. over there. Tell him not to until we leave. So you better tell us now. No, he already did. He already said he swallowed 10 to 15 cc's of uh, hair rom. Oh, he knew had, it. A, had a guy. That's what he said. I asked him why he did it, and he goes, I had no choice. I had a guy on 22 his arm. You could tell it was broken right at the forearm. He goes, man, they, they told me it would delay in my court date if I went to the hospital. So he ingested a lot of hair rom. He said 10 to 15 cc's of hair rom. Hey, up. Can you take it like that? I want to see his face. Hey, buddy. It's red, because he's been hanging, sitting down. Sit up. Sit up. Let me see your face. When did you swallow it? We need to call 911. 1936 on the base. He needs to be laid down. Yep. Lay down? Yep. Hey, when you go out for medical, give me more nurses. Says he swallowed 10 to 15 cc's of heroin today. I asked him why he swallowed it. He said he had no choice. I don't think it's a suicide attempt. It's just, I think he was getting pulled over and had nowhere to put it, so he swallowed it. This is what the outcome is when you swallow drugs. What time did you swallow the crack or the hair on? You didn't swallow hair on a crack? Nobody told you to get yeah, up. You need to lay down until the squad gets here. Have you done any other drugs today? What? Hair on Oxycontin. Today you did? Yeah. How much Oxycontin did you do? Uh, Thirty. Did you shoot it up or did you take Say it orally? Fire it. What does that mean? Fire it. When you fire it. What does that mean? Huh? What does that mean when you fire it? Do you swallow it or you shoot it up, snort I it? Fire it. <laughs> 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 So you did that and heroin and you got drunk.
What's going on? How are you? You know what? Did this guy really took it? He says he did. Oh, he says he said he said he swallowed it. Fresh dirt mine. He was oh. dear for soil economy. He's passed out in the yard. Brought him down for a warrant. He's very intoxicated. Seen engine 24 was on scene. <laughs> Engine 24 was on scene. He says his vital signs were normal on the scene up there. I bring him down here. They ask him if he swallowed anything. He said, I swallowed heroin. Of course. And then he went and limp and kind of. Okay. You know. It's he's, pretty much your call. He's intoxicated. If you want us to take him to the hospital? Oh, yeah. we'll, uh, okay. Yeah. Let's go. Sometimes you know people know how to the work the system, knowing that if they come in and claim this and can play along with the symptoms, they can uh, get a little bit of extra time out of jail and just get up to a UC for a for a few hours for treatment. Most of the time, they end up sending them back. Now this guy's saying he didn't swallow anything. He shot up Oxycontin, but he didn't, he didn't swallow anything. We'll just take him to UC, get him checked out, and maybe put another charge on for obstructing. Did you swallow heroin, yes or no? How much you swallow? I just talked to him now and said he did swallow heroin. He doesn't know because he swallowed something. He don't know what he did. He's all for I got an Oscar nomination here. Our nurse evaluated him. His vitals were good. More than not, is uh, people that come in here quite frequently know uh, know what to do. I'm not saying that he's lying or that he's not having any kind of medical issues, but um, we're taking him up to the hospital for precautionary measures. I'll be back. Door's always open. And the doors open up and they leave me outside And they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride Now the night hits my face and it brings me to life Oh Lord, now I'm out that jail tonight Another night in my street, another night in my hair Now I'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair Now my hands on the wheel and my fingers grew tight I'm gonna go home to my family tonight I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids I don't wanna be 